Good morning. I welcome each of you to another time of prayer and devotion as we head into the weekend, the holiday weekend. This special time that we're able to share is uh, so important and I'm happy to be able to uh, pray along with you this morning to share our needs with one another, uh, to share our praise reports, and um, just to pull together in this work that we're doing for the kingdom of God. In our praise reports this morning, I just learned yesterday that Steve Cummins has been released from the hospital, so we give God praise for that. We'll be praying today for him and his family, uh, continue to pray for them. The rest of his household has now been diagnosed with COVID as well, but we're so glad to hear that Steve is doing well enough to be released from the hospital as he does have several underlying conditions. Uh, Sarah Isaac's fever was down yesterday, so she's doing better in her battle with COVID. Sister Marcia Moore reports that her dental work went well yesterday, and so we thank God with her uh, for that. Uh, let's pray today for those who are battling cancer. Diane Escher, Jamie Dixon, Debbie Biddick's daughter Jessica, Beverly, Deb Clydens, Kim Gladden, Josh Soberg, Michael Boland, Evelyn Marshall, Brother Steve Williford, Brother Anthony Trimble, Delbert Bryant, Linda Fox, David Harris, Dwayne Lewis, a friend of Terry Adams, Kim Stinson, Wanda Barnes, Lorelei, Caden, Jenna, and Tucker. All of these needing our prayers today as they continue to battle against cancer. Other physical needs today that we need to be praying about, Terry Adams is uh, dealing with IBS. Her grandson, Ethan, needs continued prayers for healing. Rue needs our continued prayers uh, today. Phil and Karen Sampson and their family need our prayers for family issues and healing for Caitlin. James Pearson has high blood pressure. Michael Parrott needs healing of Crohn's disease. Rick House needs healing of type 2 diabetes and a heart murmur. The elder brother and sister Perkins need our continued prayers for encouragement, for strength, and for healing. Uh, my father needs healing of Parkinson's disease, as does my mother-in-law, Beulah Ziegler, uh, and also Russ and Tim battling with Parkinson's today. Emily Stanley has diabetes. Abel Ray is a three-year-old suffering from PKU. He cannot have protein and is very limited in what he can eat. Renee has extreme pain and limited mobility due to hip and knee problems. Uh, Robbie Northrup has COPD, Phyllis Robinette, uh, macular degeneration, Bill Eldreth battling with myasthenia gravis, Leslie Pride needs healing today, Donna Reedy uh, needs to recover from the effects of a stroke. Uh, Marvin and Evelyn Marshall have been sick this week and have had several family members diagnosed with uh, coronavirus so let's continue to remember them and of course Evelyn uh, has underlying condition as she is battling with cancer as well. Kendra and Renato Ortiz need our continued prayers for their health issues. Uh, we have several other types of needs today that we need to pray for. Joanne Leathers is needing a place to live. She needs a miracle financially in order to get her own home repaired after a fire. Matt and Michaela Perkins are trying to start a family. Caroline's daughter is going through a rough time and needs our continued prayers. Uh, Debbie Biddick is asking us to pray for a young couple she knows who are struggling in their marriage. Sally Waller has two daughters who are expecting and we're praying with her for safe pregnancies and deliveries. Jana Harville uh, has some unspoken needs today. We want to continue to pray for peace and comfort and strength for the Jack, Dumbin, Dub, uh, the, excuse me, the Jack Dublin family, the Wesley Bates family, and also the O'Neill family as they are all mourning the passing of their loved one today. Sister Judy Ewing is in need of back surgery. Tasha's friend Laura is having her leg amputated due to blood clots. Uh, we have seven new COVID cases in Stoddard County. Um, that were confirmed yesterday with four recoveries, which are exactly identical numbers to the day before. Um, but we have currently 50 active cases in our county. So that has ticked up by three uh, net. So let's continue to pray for um, our county and whatever area that you live in, let's pray today against coronavirus 
and keep believing that they're going to achieve the breakthroughs they, breakthroughs they need in uh, treatments for this. Uh, other COVID-19 requests today, Susan Bright, Velan Marshall, uh, Steve Cummins and family, as I mentioned earlier, Steve is recovering and is out of the hospital now, but his wife and kids also have the virus. Uh, Sarah Isaac, a 94-year-old, doing better, but uh, still needs our prayers today. Court Chavis, uh, Puxico Nursing and Rehab, as far as I know, has at least one case. Pastor Mickey Lewis um, has COVID and has now been admitted to the hospital with pneumonia, so we need to remember him today, especially now that he has that other complication there along with it. Brother Kevin Prince, uh, Mike Carter, Robert, Brother Stan Cook and his wife, Pam Bunch and her household, the staff and residents of Colonial Home Assisted Living in Donovan, and the patients and staff at Spring Meadows, all needing our prayers against COVID-19 today. Uh, let's continue praying for those who are struggling with their mental health during this time. Let's continue praying for our president, for uh, his cabinet, for the vice president, for our Congress. Uh, pray for a miracle in our government. Uh, we need our government to function the way that the founders designed it. And it seems like that uh, there's not much intention among the parties to work together. Uh, let's pray for full and complete economic recovery and continue praying for our teachers, our school bus drivers and the other staff and our children that are back in school now. Uh, pray for full and complete uh, economic recovery, as I said, and continue praying for nursing home residents and shut-ins today who are isolated, um, and this leads to much depression, and uh, they need the help of the Lord today. Let's pray against all this violence and looting and the murders and things that are going on because of it. Um, the uptick in, in murders is just uh, uh, unbelievable, almost the, the percentage of increase in our major cities. We want to pray against political exploitation of minority groups. Uh, today, recovering from surgery, Carmen's brother George is recovering from gallbladder surgery. Uh, Faye Willis, Leslie Cooper, and Rob Durr, uh, Dustin Phelps, and Jessica, which is Debbie Biddick's daughter, all recovering from surgery. We want to pray for continued recovery for Nick Searcy, Brandy Bryant, Dwayne's mother-in-law, Cody Robinette, Steve Skates, Brantley, Adrian, Ethan, Gerald, Johnny Ray, uh, Sylvia's daughter, and Brandon Jolly. Our spiritual needs that have been submitted this morning, Terry Adams' children, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Sylvia's family, Josiah, Marsha Moore's children and granddaughter, Beulah's family, Judy and Mike Williams' daughter, Jennifer, Lori Arbo's mother, Pam Pulliam's children, Mark and Caitlin, Art Chandler, Peggy Fiedler's children, Tasha Ray's husband and sister, Debbie Biddick's niece, who needs salvation and also healing. Carmen's daughter, Grace. Uh, Connor, Haley, Evie, Rose, and Carl are teenagers that Carmen works with who need continued prayer for salvation. And Debbie Biddick's daughter, Jamie, and family. All of these in need this morning of our prayers for their spiritual needs. I welcome each of you this morning as we go into the holiday weekend. Sister Marcia, good to see you. Sister Carmen, Brother Mark, God bless all of you. Leslie, good to have you with us today. Um, and I see we have a request here. We got all of the cancer, left foot 99%. I'll read that later in detail. And let's pray for those needs today that Leslie has. Sister Pam, Sister Beulah, God bless you today. We're so thankful for each of you. As we continue our devotional series, as we take another look at prayer. And uh, yesterday we talked about the uh, Jewish teaching that the story of Jacob's ladder is symbolic of prayer. And it's pretty easy to see uh, when you begin to examine it that uh, it is the connection from earth to heaven. Um, Jacob actually acknowledged that when he woke up. He said, surely the presence of the Lord was in this place and I was not aware of it. And he said, and this is the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. So he was recognizing this connection that he experienced in his dream of this ladder that stretched from earth to heaven. 
and with angels ascending and descending upon it. The Jewish people believe that that's representative of angels taking the needs of the people to God and then coming back down with the answers. And so we've been talking about the runs on that ladder, that prayer is multi-leveled and multi-dimensional. And the highest level on the ladder of prayer uh, being uh, in the self-evaluation prayer uh, related to the Hebrew verb tofel, which means to attach or join or bind together as two pieces of a broken vessel are pieced together to make it whole again. And there is a desire within all of us to be godly. Some may not be aware of this longing, but it is there nevertheless. Our soul has, in fact, been called the candle of God. The flame of a candle is restless, striving upwards to break away, as it were, from, from the wick and the body of the candle. And this is the nature of fire, to strive upwards. And our soul also desires to strive upward like the flame of that candle. And that's its nature. Whether we are conscious of it or not, that is the nature of our soul. And prayer is the means whereby we attach ourselves to God with the soulful attachment of spirit to spirit. And in doing so, our soul flutters and soars upward to be united with God. Every commandment that God has commanded us to do, when we do it as unto the Lord, it attaches us to the Lord. And the Jews call that mitzvah, sacred duty or command. The root word for mitzvah means togetherness or company. In English, we would use the word enjoin, which means to command. The commandment is the bond that joins together the person commanded with the person commanding, no matter how far apart they are in distance, rank, or position. When a king commands a servant to do something, this immediately establishes a bond between the two. The servant feels greatly honored that the king takes notice of him and has given him something to do, and that he, an insignificant person, can do something to please the great king. It makes him eager to be worthy of the king's attention and favor. The top of the ladder of prayer rests on God, but the bottom of the ladder rests on us. And in order for the connection to be established, the ladder has to be fixed on both ends. So our understanding and acceptance of the importance of prayer is what establishes the ladder on earth and causes his will to be done in earth as it is in heaven. So again, prayer is like a ladder of many rungs. To get to the top of it, we must start at the bottom and we must steadily rise upward. We must therefore become familiar with the depth of the subject of prayer and that's what we're endeavoring to do together there's the plain meaning and then there is the deeper meaning and then there's the putting it all together so that we can experience and carry out prayer in its highest dimension amen and that's what we're attempting to do today to grow in this knowledge of prayer and in our practice of prayer i'm thankful that i've gotten several of you back here this morning and uh, I'll make sure that I share this and try to redirect everyone uh, since this is done in two parts due to the technical problems we experienced as we began devotion this morning. Let's take our needs to the Lord together today and believe him to move in all these situations. Lord Jesus, we love you today. We come before your throne of grace with great boldness because of your sacrifice, because of the confidence we have in you and the love that we feel from you today, God. We thankful, we're thankful that we're attached to you, that we're connected to you through this medium of prayer that you've given us. And you taught us to pray, Lord. You give us the instructions of how to connect to heaven today. And we're so thankful, Lord, for the access that we have to your presence. We pray your blessing upon this prayer team today. We pray your blessing upon our communities today. We pray healing, Lord, for every person that's suffering sickness today. And we submit to your will as we pray these prayers, Lord, recognizing that your will is the ultimate goal. For you see all, you see every angle. We only see in part. We only see through a glass darkly. But we trust you with all of our needs. We pray for those who are battling cancer today. Each and every one of them, God, we pray that you would work a miracle in their bodies today. Diane and Jamie and Jessica and Beverly, and Deb, Lord, we lift up Kim, and Josh, and Michael, and Evelyn, and Brother Williford, and Brother Trimble today. We lift up Delbert, and Linda, and David, and Dwayne. We lift up Terry Adams' friend, and Kim Stinson, and Wanda, and Lorelei, Caden, Jenna, and Tucker. All of these, Lord, we're trusting you for their healing today. 
Lord, you see Sister Terry Adams dealing with IBS today. We pray healing for her, healing for her grandson, Ethan. We believe for your continued healing, Lord, for Rue today, for Phil and Karen Sampson and their family. You see the struggles that they have due to protracted illness and other issues in their family. God, we pray your healing would be administered today in that home. We pray for James Pearson for healing of high blood pressure. We pray for Michael Parrott today, God, for healing of Crohn's disease. We pray for Rick House this morning, Lord, for healing of type 2 diabetes and his heart condition. We pray for Elder and Brother Sister Perkins this morning, God, Lord, that you would strengthen and encourage them today in your spirit, that they would receive a healing touch. We pray against Parkinson's today on behalf of Ron and Beulah and Russ and Tim and all that are afflicted with this disease. We pray for Emily, Lord, dealing with diabetes today, for Abel, who has this rare disorder that he can't take in protein, God. Minister healing to this little child, we pray. We pray for Renee this morning, Lord, that her pain would be diminished right now. Lord, that her hip and knee problems would be healed. We pray for Robbie Northrup, Lord, for healing of COPD right now. We believe, Lord, in your power. We trust in you today, God. We pray for Phyllis Robinette that you would heal her eyes today. Heal her vision. Touch Bill Eldreth right now with your healing power. Touch Leslie Pride today, Lord. Minister healing to Donna Reedy that she would recover from this stroke in Jesus' name. We pray for Marvin and Evelyn, Lord, that you would touch their bodies and protect them, Lord, from COVID today. We pray for Kendra and Renato, Lord, that you would touch their bodies today and minister your healing touch right now. You see every need that we're praying for in our families, in our homes, uh, these special needs that have been submitted, Lord, for Joanne Leathers. Uh, she needs a miracle in her finances today that she could repair a home. She needs temporary housing right now. In the meantime, Lord, we pray for Matt and Michaela, Lord, as they're trying to start a family. We pray for Caroline's daughter this morning, Lord, that you would bring her through this rough time in her life. Uh, we pray, God, for Debbie uh, uh, Biddick's uh, uh, friends that she knows, God, this couple that are struggling in their marriage. Uh, we pray you would heal their marriage today, God. We pray, Lord, for Sally's daughters who are both expecting and are going to be delivering children into this world. We pray their pregnancies would be safe, healthy deliveries, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray for Jana today, God. Work those miracles for her and her unspoken needs. Uh, we pray for your peace and your comfort and your strength for the Dublin family today, for the Bates family, for the O'Neill family, Lord, as they're mourning the loss of their loved ones today. We pray for Sister Judy Ewing, Lord, that you would touch her back, Lord. You're able to work in such a way that she won't even need that back surgery, and we trust in your power today. We pray for Tasha's friend, Lord, God, as she's facing leg amputation. Lord, that you would touch her today and minister peace to her in this situation. We pray for these seven new COVID cases in Stoddard County uh, confirmed yesterday. We pray, God, that uh, against every active case in our county, all 50 of these cases, we believe for quick recovery in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we believe for this virus to begin to fade. In Jesus' name, we pray for all those who are dealing with COVID. Susan Bright, Velan Marshall, Steve Cummins and family, uh, Sarah Isaac, Court Chavis, uh, Puxico Nursing and Rehab, Pastor Mickey Lewis. Lord, we pray against that pneumonia that's working in his body right now as well. We pray for Brother Kevin Prince, for Mike Carter, for Robert, for Brother Stan Cook and his wife Cheryl, for Pam Bunch and for Haley and Ram. Lord, we pray for Colonial Home Assisted Living and for Spring Meadows, Lord, for the staff and residents in these facilities, Lord, that the spread would stop and that every patient would recover. In Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, for those that are struggling with their mental health during this pandemic. We pray for healing of the mind and spirit. We pray for our president and his administration. We pray for our congressional leaders this morning. We pray for complete economic recovery, Lord. We pray for stability in our government. We pray for your direction in the upcoming election, Lord. That's now just 60 days, less than 60 days away. Oh, God, we pray, Lord, for our nursing home residents and shut-ins, that you would comfort and strengthen them in this isolation, Lord. God, that you would, they would have peace in place of depression today. We pray for protection for our children at school today, for the teachers, for the bus drivers, for the staff that works at the school, Lord. 
We pray against violence and looting and against the murders and the, that are taking place uh, daily in our society. We pray against the political exploitation of every issue and every minority group. Uh, we pray today for recovery from surgery for Carmen's brother George and for Faye Willis, for Leslie Cooper, for Rob Durr, Dustin Phelps, and Jessica. We thank you, Lord, for bringing them through these operations, Lord, and that they're recovering. We pray for continued recovery today for Nick Searcy and Brandy Bryant, for Dwayne Rogers' mother-in-law, for Cody Robinette. We pray for Steve Skates and for Brantley and for Adrian and for Ethan. We pray for Gerald Yeely and for Johnny Ray. We believe for Sylvia's daughter and for Brandon Jolly. Lord, we thank you for the miracles that you already worked for these people today, God, and that their recovery is going to continue to completion. We have confidence in you, Lord, that they will be fully restored. We pray today, God, for the spiritual needs among our family and friends. You see Terry Adams' children. You see Jennifer and Brenda's family this morning, Lord. You see Sylvia's family. You see Josiah and Marcia Moore's children and her granddaughter. We believe on behalf of Beulah's family and Judy and Mike's daughter, Jennifer. Lori Arbo's mother is going to be restored in Jesus' name. Pam Pulliam's children are going to turn to you. Mark and Caitlin, Lord, are going to live for you. We believe it today. Draw them by your spirit, Lord. We pray for Art Chandler, for Peggy Fiedler's children, for Tasha Ray's husband and sister. We pray for Debbie Biddick's niece for salvation and for her health issues. We pray for Carmen's daughter today, Grace, Lord. We pray for Connor and Haley and Evie. We pray for Rose and Carl. These teenagers need your salvation, Lord. Turn their lives around today, God. And we pray for Debbie Biddick's daughter, Jamie, and family this morning. We know, God, that you're touching them and you're moving in their lives, and you're drawing them by your spirit. You're healing backslidings today. You're giving revelation of who you are. You're speaking into hearts right now, and we believe you for these things in Jesus' name. God bless you this morning. Thank you for being a part of our prayer. I apologize for the inconvenience of the interruption today. It was certainly beyond my control, and I look forward to joining with you again on Monday morning for our prayer and devotion, I recognize that's a holiday, but I know that at some point you'll be able to uh, watch and pray with me, and I look forward to joining together with you once again. God bless you. I'll see you on Monday.